Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So, um, if you guys are farmers, you know that it doesn't matter how you feel. There's never a day off. I'm sick um, and I still have to go out and check on the animals. So, Bijou is still due to kid. <coughs> and Brandon went out and bottle fed this morning before he left for work. But now he's gone all day, so I have to be out there to check on everybody and make sure they're doing okay. Um, so Bijou's the last one to kid until the end of the month when Willow will be due. Um, but if you guys have been following so you guys remember that we have our partners with Cedar Ridge Kikos and today is, I don't even know what today is, <laughs> let me look on my calendar here. Um, we are at the 9th, so it's March 9th. And his kidding season starts in five days so I took off work uh, two weeks off of work so I could be over there to take care of his goats because um, none of these goats that are due we've been around yet and put my shoes on um, other than uh, he purchased um, tipsy from us if you guys remember tipsy she's the big white white doe and so she is bred and she's over there so other than her, we have close to 30 girls that are due and quite a few first timers and then ones that had kitted on other farms. So we don't know how they'll do. So it's a first for us on them. We don't know what to expect. So me taking the time off work to be there for him and his goat. So we will be filming um, all the different births over there as well for you guys. So I hope you enjoy, but let's get out there and check on Bijou. So the great thing is it's supposed to be a really nice day today. <laughs> um, it's going to be in the 60s and it, it's actually only light wind today. So it's a perfect day for her to have her babies in case I'm not out here when she goes. Um, but it, I can already see her now. She's just laying in the courtyard with everybody else. But let's see if she's even going to have them today. That would be really nice if she did. Hey, Bish. How you doing today? She's pretty, pretty loose there, but I don't know. I don't know if her udder is full yet. The problem is I can't get close to her because she won't let me check her ligaments. Oh, sweetheart. It's okay. It's all right. I just want to check. <laughs> her udder to me doesn't look full yet. Um, so I don't think she's going to go today. Her udder's been that size for the last few days, and it hasn't changed. So I'll probably look back at when she gave birth last year. That's why I love filming, because I can always look back and see um, how they did the year before, and it gives me an idea. Good morning, everyone. We're out here before the sunrise. And I'm going to check on Bijou, who's over here eating off the bale. See how she's looking this morning. Hey, sweetheart. I know you're not going to let me touch you. Well, her udder doesn't look any different. I know she won't let me touch her, but we're going to try it. Yeah, she won't even let me come near her. <clears throat> we'll just have to keep an eye on her, I guess. She's a real hard one to, to notice, I think. All right, well, her udder does seem a little bit bigger, but she's still hanging with the herd. So I don't know that she'll go today, but she does look like her udder is getting bigger. So we're going to keep a close eye on her. Well, it's in the evening, and her udder definitely looks bigger. Um, she's also been cranky today. She's fighting with everybody. And... 
get a better look at her udder. She's going to leave as soon as I come in here. Um, yeah, there she goes. There it is. Pretty good size. Um, but anyway, yeah, she's been acting more cranky today. And I did notice her laying by herself for a little bit earlier. So we'll be keeping a close eye on her if she's going to go today or maybe by tomorrow. Filling waters and I just saw Bijou get right up and she's definitely having a contraction. She's just standing real still. So it looks like we'll definitely have babies within the next six hours. Hopefully before dark, but we've only got like two hours before dark, so I don't know if we'll get that lucky. Digging a little bit too. Ooh, that's a good contraction. Be nice if she had him right there, close to the barn. All right, you guys. So Bijou is officially 14 days late. <laughs> it better be worth the wait. That's all I gotta say. Um, I just had to run in, stuff my face. Uh, we got the sunset behind us. So we're running out of daylight, and I don't think she started pushing yet, but I got all my warm clothes on, I got my coveralls that my goats bought me. So here we go, let's go hang out with her until she has her babies. She's got some port from her daughter that she had last year. Looks like she may have her kids right there, she hasn't really left that spot. Nothing yet, it's almost 8 o'clock at night. We've lost all light. Um, about an hour or so ago, and she's still digging and stuff, but no signs of pushing as of yet. The good thing about the wind is it seems to be keeping her close to the barn, but it's really hard to stay out here, so I had to go in for a little bit and uh, warm up. That wind just blows right through you, no matter how many layers you have on. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on her for a couple more minutes, but I may go back in and just come out every 30 minutes until she starts pushing. All right, so it's been another two hours since she was doing a couple of early pushes, uh, but she's finally starting to really push hard.
job, Bijou. Almost. There you go. That's a big old baby. Yeah, that's a big old baby. Yeah, look at that. Good job, Mama. Yeah, there we go. Cream and white. It's a boy. That's a big old boy. Look at the head on this guy. Good job, Bijou. Yeah, good job. Got her moved into the barn out of the wind. That way, we don't get any frostbit ears. <laughs> Time to wake up, dude. Here comes baby number two. Here it is, there's the head. Good girl. What was your name? Who? This little white one. That's Angelica. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Good job, Mom. It's a girl. Good job, Mama. Here, let me help you a little bit. There you go. That's better, huh? Good job, Mama. Now she gave us a surprise third one last year, so we're going to sit and wait for a few. Alright, here we are next morning. These are two babies. This is the boy. His name is Hollis. And Hollis is 10 pounds. He's half grown already. And then Delphinium is 8 pounds, or 8 and 3 quarter pounds. So this year she just had twins, which I was kind of hoping for, because three is a lot right now for these girls. So twins it is. So. All right, you guys. So the kids are doing great this morning, as you guys saw. Um, we got them named and everything. So this kind of concludes our kidding season. 
pretty much. We have one dough left, but she's not due until the 28th, so we have a couple of weeks before then. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over a cold, so I'm it's hard to talk. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I do think we are going to keep Delphinia, um, only because we, I think we are going to sell Bijou. And so we kept her one daughter last year. We'll keep this one, and that will kind of continue on. It seems like the goats, and I've talked to a lot of ranchers, but it seems like the goats that are born on your property do better than the ones that are purchased. So we're trying to cut way back this year like we talked about before. And so I want to kind of cut out some of the ones that we purchased and just keep homegrown kids um, because they definitely seem to do a lot better, especially with everything we've been going through. The ones that are born here didn't lose weight like the other ones did. So it's just all of it kind of just makes sense. So that's kind of what we're thinking. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon.